This is an aerial view of uh, downtown Brompton during the 1940s. That's the old Brompton Savings Bank right there on St. Paul Street. That's an auto dealership, I believe it was Yandel's, but that's where the microbrewery sits now. That's City Hall Park. It was City Hall. Of course, we have uh, that's Church Street, right beyond City uh, City Hall. That's the old Customs House, the old Post Office, and just beyond that is that's the so strong theater right there, the one that burned in the 1970s. Now across the street from there would be Central Fire Station in the City Jail is that building that's looking on a corner. That's the old jail right there. Right next to the your, your fire station. Now that's a, a parking lot now. If you can see closely there is a, a multi-story building there. That's what housed the prisoners. The sheriff lived there with his family. And when I was growing up uh, McLaughlin was a sheriff. That's a free free uh, library right next to the, uh, the fire station. Of course, that's the free press building right there across, across the road from them. Now, this is Church Street proper right there. I believe it. Because I'm not going to see much. Of course, I got the uh, state. Theater, the Black Cat Cafe building that that burned in the 70s, a loss of life. And of course, got the, there's the corner there. And oops, now this was taken about the same time as the uh, as the other photo from a different direction. Here we have the old Custom House Post Office. That's Main Street. Yeah, I wonder how many people remember the Hitchin Post restaurant that was on the corner. Okay, now Central Fire Station again, and I don't know if you can see much of a bit of a picture of the county jail, but it's just up there, just below the uh, fire station. Of course, there's Strong Theater. It's the back side of the Strong Theater before it burned. That's City Hall. That's looking up Church Street proper. That would be. There's the old Hotel Vermont right there. And that was the, uh, the Van Ness that just before it burned. That's where the Howard Bank is now. The old bus terminal. Going up the street, that would be the uh, the Baptist Church there. That's still standing, I believe. Yes, that's still standing. There is St. Paul's right there. That burned. Okay, now up a ways. We should see the Cathedral Church. Okay. I actually got the churches mixed up. That is St. Paul's right there. St. Paul's Episcopal Church. That is the Cathedral Church of the Immaculate Conception. That was St. Mary's, I guess they called it back then. And right there, that's across the way from the Cathedral Church, is Cathedral Grammar School. Right where the uh, Old Navy building is that parking lot in back of the Old Navy. It was this was tore down in '59. Okay, and right behind the Cathedral Church should be the Cathedral High School. Now looking up to uh, the street towards Pearl right there. That's where the post office is now. That complex there. And that's the old Miller Hotel. 
that burned in 41. That's where uh, Sears and Pennies was built after. Because there's the old Masonic Temple, which is a landmark in Burlington. So, as we pan down Church Street here, back to City Hall, City Hall Park, the old bus terminal, Hotel Vermont again. There's a Flynn Theater going straight up Main Street. That block is still there that we're looking at right now. Of course, the Strong Theater is gone, been burned, it's replaced by a complex. And right down here on the corner of South Winooski and Main Street area, right where the VFW is now which used to be the U.S. Old Club and it looks like there was a another building there it wasn't the U.S. Old Club at that time because this is prior to the war it looks like it's a privately owned building okay and most of these buildings a lot of these buildings are now gone that old house right there is pretty much gone and I don't know what it was. Maybe somebody could enlighten me. Does anybody remember the old Wilson Hotel? Where all these so-called homeless and a lot of old folks live there. Cheap rooms. It's right there. Pretty much on a corner. I think the Wilson's gone now. Or it's changed. It's into something else. But that's the way it was in Burlington back then. This is a much better area of view of uh, Brompton in 19, about 1941. That's City Hall. Ethan Allen Fire Station. Now, I don't know if it was a police station at the time or still a fire station, but it's right next to City Hall. That's looking up Church Street. Okay. That area in there is uh, State Building, State Theater, and Black Cat Cafe section right there. That right there is another picture of St. Paul's uh, Church, the one that burned in the 1970s. All this section right here is the, uh, is the uh, Broughton Square Mall area. There's Cathedral Grammar School and if we go up here you see Wolves and Kresge's, the old buildings. And there's the hotel that was on uh, the corner of Cherry and uh, Church Street that burned in 41 at the Milner Hotel. And that was replaced by J.C. Penny and Sears Retail Store. Of course, we have the Cathedral Church there that burned. And that's the urban renewal area right there.